If you're a promotion and one of the things you want are rudos who the audience is going to get passionate about, one of the things you want, if you can, is have somebody working as an exotico. Um. The whole kind of exotico style started, probably started in the U.S. with Gorgeous George. And Gorgeous George's persona was actually more of like the dandy, but the idea of the effeminate man as one form of, of heel uh, was established in the 1940s, 1950s, both in the U.S. and subsequently in Mexico. The term gay men doesn't make cultural sense exactly because it's not that he's entirely unstigmatized, but he's not stigmatized for gender crossing. The idea of like a transgendered wrestler wrestling, sometimes against women, sometimes against men, all I could say is the 21st century, it's so much fun. What it means beyond that, I couldn't really say. I think for people who grow up as Lucha Libre fans, the first thing is that they're, they're drawn in by their fandom. It's like magic. It's this magical world to them, and all of a the sudden they can enter into this magical world. The lights go on, you enter the ring, and it's magic and you're magic, and the magic is happening because you're making it happen. You know, there's that performer's high that any kind of performer gets. It's just incredibly pleasurable, incredibly addictive. You can't not do it.